Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day so far and you are keeping super safe and well. I just wanted to chat to you today about some of the things that have been giving me joy, making me feel happy and relaxed and like myself during this really super weird, trying hard, challenging, different, difficult, bizarre time that we're all in. I know we're all having lots of the same feelings we're all feeling really weird and all different kinds of ways that are all absolutely okay. It's okay to feel very weird, sad, depressed, lonely, trapped, isolated, etc. all of the above. I think everybody is feeling all types of ways right now, but I will say that me and my little family here in our little bubble have been really staying very super happy, positive, well um, so far and I think I definitely have noticed some things that we are doing differently to some of my family and friends who are struggling a lot more. There are some things that I thought, do you know what, these are the reasons, these are the things we're doing differently to some people who are finding it a lot harder. So I wanted to share with you my tips and tricks for staying happy and well within ourselves and things that have been helping with my well-being and just my general sense of self during this super weird bizarre time that we're all in at the moment. Obviously these are things that are all personal to me, my personal preference, how I'm personally dealing with and coping with everything um, and that's obviously going to be totally different for each person so I understand if some of this won't work for you, if some of this is not going to help you that's absolutely fine, we're all totally different but I think that's the beauty of having this platform here is that we can all join in in this discussion and share with each other actually that stuff doesn't work for me, this is what works for me and we'll end up with a beautiful giant list of positive happy things that we can do to comfort ourselves and to just make ourselves feel a bit more normal during a very abnormal time. So I think that, that if we just start a thread in the comments of things that have worked, we can all pick up some new things and just kind of help each other out with things that we've tried and things that we've found work for us because we are all so gloriously different. So the five key things that are keeping me sane, keeping me feeling like myself, keeping me happy and well are as follows. The top one is exercise slash the gym. Now I will say I am completely the number one thing that not everybody is going to be able to do or going to have, Not certainly not in the way that I do here. So both myself and my husband were athletes in our youth. <laughs> my husband was a footballer and I was a swimmer if you don't know that, if you're new here. We both were full-time athletes at one point in our lives and we both now work in sport as well. So we have a full-on, fully equipped gym in our home so that is obviously super easy for us to go in there and exercise like we normally would to lift weights i spend a lot of my time on the cross trainer at the moment with the tv on and that is like my little bit of paradise clearly normal people <laughs> don't have gyms in their house because that is very weird but lots of people do have a treadmill or a cross trainer or an exercise bike for example or something like that. If you do not have the space, if you live in a small apartment or you just don't have the equipment, you don't have the money to buy a big expensive piece of exercise equipment, there are so many online free resources to do some yoga if that's more your thing, to do at home body weight workouts that you don't need any equipment. There are millions of them. You don't need big equipment but doing exercise that's really making me feel like myself, just going and spending 30 minutes or so, just working out with myself, with some music on or with some TV on, an iPad or whatever you have, pumping out in the background some loud music and just doing that. So it's time for yourself and it's getting your blood flowing, getting your heart racing, it's upping your steps for the day, which undoubtedly the vast majority of us are steps for the day are plummeting right now and doing you know a good decent amount of daily exercise if you can't get out and walk or get out and cycle or get out and ride a horse I've seen lots of people I'm so jealous of people who have horses right now being able to go on a horse ride because that seems like heaven doesn't it um but yeah a bit of exercise half an hour of daily exercise that has made a huge difference to how I feel and getting my heart and blood and and breathing and just feeling alive 
and doing it early on, that has made a big difference for me. Next thing, hobbies. So important to keep hobbies or find hobbies or rediscover hobbies during this time. I have a few that especially I'm really finding are keeping me sane at the moment. Xbox counts as a hobby. Don't come at me, counts as a hobby. I love my Xbox, I play on there all the time. My little boy will come up and we do things together and it's super fun. You can do things like Tetris on there. I really love playing Tomb Raider. Um, if I wanna go up and just have some time to myself and do something mindless and stupid that takes my mind off the real world, I'm gonna do it. I also love giving myself a manicure, doing um, my nails. I find that super soothing and relaxing. Doing things like makeup. I know no one's gonna see us, we're not going anywhere. But spending an hour just chilling and putting makeup on if we have that time can feel super therapeutic and just make us feel normal. If you're someone who normally wears makeup every day and goes to work and you've stopped now because you aren't leaving the house and no one's gonna see you, so who cares? You've probably taken quite a big part of yourself away and maybe you're not feeling like yourself not because who cares how we look but because you're not taking that time for like self-care makeup putting on makeup for lots of people is self-care self-care i'm certainly not putting makeup on every day this is the first time i've worn makeup for a week and i probably wouldn't have done it if i hadn't have been speaking to you guys today but it is important to sort of do these things for ourselves every now and then to feel like some sense of normality to take some time to do some self-care to spend time with ourselves and doing something we enjoy that makes us happy and that makes us feel like the world is not stopped turning. I'm also reading a lot. I downloaded a load of books onto my Kindle and I'm just really enjoying reading. It's also helping me switch off. I do not look at my phone. I'm not looking at any kind of news apps or online things when I'm trying to rest and go to sleep. I'm reading wonderful glorious books that keep me happy that cheer me up things like harry potter's i'm currently reading um dr sleep which is the sequel to the shining super relaxing you know but anything that really takes your mind off it whatever gives you joy as far as reading material read books if you've got a kindle or an ipad download books and read whenever you have time before you go to sleep if you're in the bath if you're doing a workout if you're just sitting while your kids are painting or if you're sitting while like me where your kids are doing their learning their online learning and things like that and um, you know sitting reading a kindle can make that feel like a lovely peaceful time with you and your kids the next thing probably the thing that i found makes the most difference and i really noticed how much of a difference is made when i stop doing it at the weekend obviously days have stopped having any meaning at the moment like what's the weekend what's the difference there's no difference anymore weekends and weekdays what's the difference it's not like you know usually at the weekend we would go out and have lovely family days and i was really sad and down at the weekend that we weren't going anywhere we weren't going off on a family adventure um and I feel like that was the days when I started to get a bit down more so than during the week when we had you know, more structure and more things to do. So I think it's really important to keep some sense of purpose, some sense of routine. I imagine this is much more challenging if you don't have kids because for me, obviously I have like an alarm clock in my children every day of my life. They're gonna wake me up at seven every single day without fail they're going to get me up at seven o'clock i imagine if you don't have kids or your kids are older so that you know they're self-sufficient or they sleep in later some people must be just literally spending their lives in bed at the moment not really knowing what to do feeling a bit lost just lazing and staying in bed all day long and for your mental health although that sounds lovely to us with kids i imagine for your mental health that's probably not helping most of us so try and find some kind of schedule some kind of routine that feels normal get up in the morning you know get have a shower and get dressed that's not to say you don't get to be comfy i've got like a crop top on it might not look comfy but it is and on the bottom i have joggers i'll show you see here's my joggers and then i've got slippers on it's not to say don't be comfy get in your loungewear get in your joggers get in your leggings and a hoodie or a sweatshirt but what i feel like lots of people will be making that mistake of rolling out of bed and staying in their pjs all day uh, 
you know, 12 o'clock and then going to bed at like two or three in the morning and you've completely changed your whole body clock. You know, you're wandering around, not really like getting up, what's the point in getting up? We haven't got anything to do and things like that. So I feel like it's so important to keep some kind of normal routine. Get up at the time you normally would get up, have a shower, brush your teeth, put clothes on, go downstairs and feel like, okay, we're here, we've got things to do. There's lots of reading, we can do learning, we can do hobbies, we can, you know, phone people, Skype with people, have those conversations. If you're working from home, obviously then you work from home and just do all those kind of things that keep you in some kind of normal human routine. Getting up in the morning, eating meals, eating in the way you normally would eat, at the times you normally would eat and going to bed at the time you would normally go to bed. Don't completely fully change everything about your whole lifestyle because that will make a far bigger change than you have to make at the moment. And keeping that normality, that routine, that purpose to your day has made a huge difference to me and how I feel and how much I feel like I have going on and to get up for. I think we're all feeling weird and not like ourselves right now and we're probably all feeling a lot more than we even are aware of. I noticed someone had tweeted recently saying that lots of people are commonly having a lot of nightmares, night terrors at the moment and lots of people are feeling super exhausted and it's all of the the stress and the pressure and the worry and the concern and the fear that we're all going through. So you might think you don't need to sleep right now, I'm just lazing about. Let yourself rest get your eight, nine, ten hours of sleep a day, but get it at night when you need it. Try not to nap during the day because again, that's gonna stop you sleeping as well at night. It's gonna make you feel like you're just lazing around with nothing to do with your life. Getting up, having a routine, but having a long, good, quality night's sleep as much as we can at this time is gonna really make you feel better. Next up, number four on my list is finding solitude. I'm very much an introvert. As far as my kind of natural state, I guess, I am definitely an introvert. I need to be alone. I like to be home. I like to be on my own. I like to be in my own company. I need that time to switch off, to be alone with my thoughts, to detox and to keep my anxiety low. I need to have moments on my own. And for lots of us at the moment, this is harder than usual because anyone that we live with is here all of the time. And there's probably a tendency to be all together all of the time unless you're asleep. So I think it's really important to not feel selfish, to not feel like you're doing something wrong if you need solitude, if you need to go and have an hour long in the bath, if you need to go and sit in your room and read in quiet on your own without people, it's really important. We're spending so much more time with our children, with our partners, with whoever we live with than we would normally. And that's so positive and amazing. And I am absolutely loving how much time I'm getting with my kids and my husband right now. But what we mustn't do is feel like we need to spend every single second, every single minute with those people because eventually we're gonna start having like little niggles, we're gonna start feeling anxious with each other. We need to also find ways to be alone. It might be more challenging if you live in a small apartment, if you have a really big noisy family, but trying whatever way that you can just to have some space and some time on your own, in your own company, for lots of people, certainly for me, is gonna be really, really important. And last but not least, the outside. <laughs> Now this is going to be different depending on what the strict restrictions are and your personal circumstances are in your country. Here currently in the UK at the point of which I'm filming this, filming this, at the point at which this is being filmed, we are um, pretty much locked down. We shouldn't be going to work. We should only be going to the shops for essentials, i.e. food or medicine only. Um, and we're doing that as, as infrequently as we possibly can. Um, but you are allowed one 30 minute walk or exercise per day. So whether that's to walk your dog, whether that's to go for a jog, go for a walk, whatever it is, that that's what you're allowed to do whilst still social distancing. So you're not supposed to go near people, you're supposed to stick just with your, your family, not meeting up with people, not meeting up with friends, etc. So our family is going on a nature walk every day. So we take the kids and we go on a walk in the, the woods near us. It's totally isolated where we live. We're far from anybody. There's, it's not built up. There's no other people. We, haven't, we don't see other people really when we go on our walks. If we do, 
they're away and we you know have a wave and a high and we don't stop we don't have any contact with other people so it's very safe for us to do that it won't be the case for lots of people who live in cities and things like that um so for you it might just be sitting out in your garden here we've had some lovely weather but it has still been cold because it is like early in spring for us but i'm still going every day that i can even if i put my coat on and i take my kindle on sitting outside just for half an hour getting fresh air feeling like i'm outside because for most people this isn't the case that we're locked down we're not allowed to leave our house we are allowed in our gardens we're allowed in our property we're allowed to be on our balconies we're allowed to open the windows whatever the max you can do to get as much outside experience fresh air the world that you can really for me clears my head like sitting in the garden if you've got a big garden fantastic if you haven't just sitting outside if you don't have any outside space and you cannot go for a walk just for 30 minutes because of the restrictions in your country or your personal circumstances or whatever that might be opening all your windows can feel much less restricting and claustrophobic than sitting inside indoors in the indoor light in the indoor air for this whole time it's really important to get outside breathe the air breathe fresh air feel less claustrophobic feel outside feel like you're in the world rather than solely inside your four walls so those are my five tips and things that have been really really helping me please like i said share yours down below let's keep this super positive listing all the things that are helping us that we're finding helpful things that we uplift us and make us feel normal make us feel happy make us feel more secure and safe give us that sense of well-being that has kind of been taken away from a lot of people during this time i hope you enjoyed this video please stay well please stay safe and i look forward to seeing you in the next one otherwise take care for now bye bye bye, bye.